For this test, I will prepare a scrap of drywall by applying one coat of PVA drywall primer, allow it to dry, sand, and apply two coats of semi-gloss trim paint while sanding between coats, and allow this to cure for three days. It's been three days since I prepared the drywall for this test, and now it's time to begin the test. I now divide this board into three time periods, 10 minutes, 24 hours, and 48 hours. Now using a Sharpie, we'll mark on the board what tape I am using in specific locations. Then apply the specific tapes in their specific locations. I'm going to back paint the edges on these bottom two samples. To me, back painting is painting the edge of the masking tape with the same color I'm trying to protect thus allowing the same color to bleed under the masking tape and seal it to prevent different colors from doing so, making a nice, clean, crisp line between the two applied colors. Now that the back painting is dry, I will paint the entire board using this eggshell wall paint. The second coat will be a standard coat. Once I get it done, I will let it dry for about 10 minutes, then pull off the tape. Well, it's been about 10 minutes and it's time to pull the first section of tape off. I know your time is precious to you because my time is precious to me. I will jump ahead 24 hours and pull the tape off, then 48 hours and pull the tape off, and then I'll talk about it. So this has all been on a little more than 48 hours altogether. This is the edge, the 3M blue edge lock. And this is the standard blue. It's supposed to be long term paint, a little bit of pulling. This is just your standard uh, cheap masking tape. Not coming too good. Okay, the the frog tape at ten minutes. And you've got to just we've got a little bit of very small amount of underbleeding going on. The tape came off great. In 24 hours, still minimal bleeding, and the tape came off just fine. At 48 hours, the same results. A minimal amount of underbleeding, but actually it's doing very well. It's very nice. And here we have the 3M Blue Edge Lock tape. At 10 minutes, very small amount of underbleeding. The tape came off very easily. At 24 hours, again, very small amount of underbleeding, and the tape came off great, very easy. Again, at 48 hours, the same results. Very nice. I like this stuff. Here we have the standard blue. At 10 minutes, some underbleeding along the edges. The tape came off well. At 24 hours, some underbleeding still. It started pulling the uh, paint surface away from the paper. At 48 hours, the same rough edge and pulling paint away from the paper. The tape was very difficult to pull up. And here we have the standard masking. At 10 minutes, there's some bleed under along the edges. The tape came up okay. At 24 hours, bleed under and pulling paint away from the paper. Here at 48 hours, pulling more paper and the edges are rough. And here we have the standard blue with uh, back painting. 10 minutes, uh, the tape comes up very good. Edges are clean and crisp, no underbleeding. At 24 hours, no underbleeding, but the tape is pulling the paper up and separating the paper. That's not good. At 48 hours, the same as the 24 pulling and separating the paper. Not good at all. 
And here's the standard masking with the back painting at 10 minutes. The edges look really good, but the tape pulled some of the surface up. But there is no underbleeding. At 24 hours, it's pulling the surface off and separating the paper. And the tape is very difficult to get off. At 48 hours, the same. Pulling the paper, tape is hard to get off. Not good. So in review, I think that frog tape and the edge lock did comparably. They did very well. They did better than the others. I think when it comes to standard masking tape, you should follow the rule, whatever you put on today, you should take off today. If time is money, it would pay you well to use the frog tape or the edge lock. If you've got time, but not an awful lot of money, then use the standard back paint it and take it off in one day. Don't leave it on. Take it off immediately after you paint the second coat. Well, that's it. Thank you for watching. I hope this has been helpful to you. You have a great day. Be sure to return, subscribe, like, and share. Thank you for watching.